Like every industry, filmmaking has its trends. I think over the last three to five years, we've seen content take such a noticeable turn. So what are the things that we may have noticed? Practical tubes. I think this trend lasted a few years because I'm starting to see less and less of it. I can't lie, I'm guilty myself of putting practical tubes in the back of my shots for music videos, but I think it's really overdone now and can look tacky. This trend peaked in about 2018 or 2019 and it was used all the way up to huge budget stuff all the way down to indie level stuff. And I think it became so popular because you can actually use the tubes for lighting and it also added production value to your shots. I think there are ways to use them in your shots still, but using them a lot more subtly. For example, hiding them in fluorescent fixtures like I did here. Or using fishing wire to hang them like I did here. There's been countless music videos where I've seen them in the back of shots where filmmakers are just putting them there and calling it a day, but personally I think this trend is kind of dead. Underexposed. If you've been around these past few years and follow other cinematographers or directors on Instagram, then most likely you've seen a lot of work be really dark and moody and underexposed. And I have to say, I'm a big fan of this trend because a lot of the time I'm trying to go after that look myself. You may have heard the term shoot into the shadows or far side key, but I really think this trend is here to stay for a while because this is how a lot of movies and TV shows are shot at a professional level. This method gives your image contrast and interest, but I always think bright, high-key cinematography will have its place, of course, but for the most part, I think most filmmakers are trying to go after the dark and moody look. Maybe I'm biased with this one because this is a style I really like, because personally, I think movies and TV series have never looked better, but I have sat down to watch movies with people who don't work in film, and they ask me, why does everything look so dark? But I'd love to hear your thoughts on this trend. Do you think we'll start to see less and less of it, or do you think it's here to stay? Shooting film. With the rise in film photography, there has also been a rise in shooting on 16mm and 35mm in all levels of production. Obviously, it's not financially affordable to shoot every single project on film, but I think if you're not shooting film, then a lot of the time I see people shooting digitally and trying to replicate film by adding grain in post. Highlight retention, softness, grain, and halation are some of the unique qualities film gives you, but I think it's starting to become easier and easier to replicate that digitally. Also, shooting on film gives you a whole different feeling and workflow on set because you have to make sure things are perfect before rolling. Large format. What is large format if you don't know? It is essentially cameras with larger sensor sizes than Super 35. I've fallen pretty out of touch with the tech side of cinematography, but with cameras such as the Ari Mini LF and the Sony Venice, I'm seeing more and more projects shot in large format and I have to say I'm a big fan of it. I'm a huge fan of the large format look because the depth of field is just crazy. If you're focusing on a subject, the background falls off and your eyes know exactly where to look at in the image. I think this just comes down to large format being another tool for cinematographers because not every single project will shoot the large format look. Let me know what you think about these trends or if we'll start to see something new. If you enjoyed this video and want more cinematography based content, then subscribe.